Storms we are tracking now, the second uh, round of storms to hit the area. Uh, system hit us hard overnight. Significant damage, notably in the Jenison area of Ottawa County. Here's 24 Hour News 8's Justin Kolar. If you travel just a few blocks up the road, you'd never know about the powerful isolated storms that tore through this neighborhood last night, destroying homes, ripping the roof off of some, uprooting trees, and scattering debris like this everywhere. Around 1.30 Saturday morning, the wind bore down on Wagon Wheel Street. And then it just exploded. You know, I mean, it sounded just like a bomb went off. Paul Perkins' wife jumped from their bed. She woke up her husband to see what was going on. She said, get out of bed right now, she said, and I didn't know what was going on, you know, but I did hear the explosion. Or what sounded like one when a tree came crashing onto their home. I just can't imagine those trees being knocked down, you know, just from wind. Just a block away, Becky Brummel and her husband were awoken to a similar surprise. I did hear a crack, um, a huge crack, and the next thing I knew, my husband was hovering over me to protect me because he didn't know what was going on. A tree came crashing down, leaving a hole in their ceiling in the middle of the storm. But it's not what happened to their house that left them speechless. We looked out the window and we we're like, what is wrong with Gail's house? And my husband says, the roof is completely gone. The roof, the garage, a trampoline launched into the sky. The entire back half of this home leveled by wind. It's just like amazing how a wind storm like that could just take half the back side of the house and just demolish it. Just can't imagine. No one was hurt, and that's why the Brummels won't be losing any sleep over this damage. Just things like that could happen so fast, uh, you know, and these are just temporal things. These are, you know, lives are more important. So we're counting our blessings. In Georgetown Township, Justin Kolar, 24-Hour News 8.